Hi friends and welcome back. So today we are going to talk about how we can measure matter. And so to do that, to do our learning today, we're going to read a story in EPIC. So I'm going to read it to you. If you ever want to go back and read it on your own, you're always welcome to. You can just log into your EPIC account and then type in how do we measure matter. So I'm going to read that with you first. Then I have a Google slide that you're going to make a copy of, and that slide is interactive. There's different things that you can click on on the slide so that you can actually practice using some of the scientific tools that scientists like you and I and others in the world use to actually measure matter. So let's get started with our book, and then I'll show you the interactive slide. This book, again, is called How Do We Measure Matter? What is matter? Matter is everything around us. Matter is anything that takes up space. All matter has mass. Mass is the amount of material or particles in matter. You measure matter to find out more about it. All matter can be sorted into solids, liquids, and gases. Matter can be a solid, such as earth. It can be a liquid, such as a lake. It can also be a gas, such as the air we breathe. And what do you think? You can take a moment here and identify the states of matter in each picture on this page and the opposite page. Which picture shows all three states of matter? So if you want to pause the video here, you can. Totally your choice. Properties of matter that we measure. Solids, liquids, and gases have different properties. A property is a feature that something has. Properties help us describe, compare, and measure different types of data. For any solid, liquid, or gas, you can measure its weight and its mass, or the amount of material in it. You can also measure temperature and volume, which is the amount of space something takes up. For a solid, you can also measure its size to find its height, width, and depth. And let's read our captions. It says, air is a gas. This outdoor thermometer tells you the temperature of the air outside. The temperature outside tells you what you need to wear. Water and honey are liquids. They both can be poured. Water is thin and slippery. Honey is thick and gooey. It pours slowly. Thick, thin, slippery, and gooey are properties. How fast a liquid pours is a property too. Measuring and collecting data. There are different ways to measure matter. One way is to compare two things to each other. Numbers can also be used to show an amount. The measurements you collect are called data. Measuring up. You can measure with tools such as a ruler. A measuring tool gives an amount to something that people everywhere can understand. If you do not have a measuring tool, you can also measure matter using everyday things. It will not give you an exact measure, but it will give you an idea of how big or heavy something is. Our caption here is he is taller and she is shorter Comparing is a way to measure matter. What do you think? Which measurement tool, the bananas or the ruler, will tell your online friend in Mexico how tall your cat really is? The cat is six bananas or about 10 inches tall. Units of measure. Almost every country in the world uses the metric system to measure amounts. The metric system uses meters to measure the size of a solid. It uses liters to measure the volume of liquids. Mass and weight is measured in grams, and temperatures are measured in degrees Celsius. U.S. Customary System The U.S. Customary System is used by people living in the United States to measure matter. This system measures the size of a solid in inches and feet, it, it uses ounces, cups, and gallons to measure the volume of liquids. Mass is measured in ounces and pounds, and temperatures are measured in degrees Fahrenheit. Measuring temperature. A thermometer is a tool that measures the temperature of different types of matter. Temperature is measured in degrees. Sometimes you will see a temperature recorded like this. 77, and this little symbol means degrees Fahrenheit. The small circle after the number is a symbol that means degree. The F means Fahrenheit and the C means Celsius. Different thermometers. 
An outdoor thermometer measures the temperature of the air. You can tell by the temperature how to dress for the day. Do you have a fever? A thermometer placed under your tongue tells an adult what temperature your body is. If your body temperature is higher than 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius, then you are sick. Some thermometers have arrows that point to the measurement of that temperature. Some have red or black liquid that rises or falls inside a thin tube to the correct amount of degrees. Digital thermometers show numbers only. When the temperature of the air outside goes down to 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius, water in the air turns to ice. This means it will snow. And here's something for you to try. Match the temperature to the outdoor activity. Which one of these do you think you would go swimming? And which one do you think you would go skiing? If you said 82 degrees Fahrenheit for swimming and 32 degrees Fahrenheit for skiing, you are correct. Measuring volume. Volume is the measurement of how much space matter takes up. Liquids and solids, such as sugar, can be poured and measured in measuring cups. Graduated cylinders and beakers are other tools that show how much space a liquid or solid takes up. Lines of measurement on each tool give number values for volume in ounces or cups, or milliliters, or gallons, liters. The volume of liquids and some solids is usually measured in ounces. The volume of gases and some solids can be found by water, or excuse me, by liquid displacement. Displacement is the amount of liquid that is pushed out of the way when a solid or gas is pushed down into a liquid. And over here our caption states, tools for measuring volume are see-through, that way you can see the matter inside the container, as well as the numbers on the outside of it. You read the number at the very top of the matter to find the amount of matter inside. This caption. The volume of this orange slice can be found by measuring the amount of water it splashes out of the full ball of water. What do you think? The number value on a bottle or carton of juice tells you the volume or how much liquid each container holds. Which of these two containers holds more volume? Hint, the letters OZ means ounces and the letter L means liters. Which one of these two do you think holds more? If you said the 2 liter bottle, the 68 ounces, you are correct. Measuring mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. All matter has mass, even a gas such as air. A heavy object has more mass than a light object. A balance is a tool that can measure an object's mass and compare the mass between two objects. Both the mass and weight of an object are measured in ounces and pounds. A scale is a tool that measures weight. It tells us how heavy or light things are. When you place an object in or on the scale, it gives you a number value for what the object weighs. Let's take a look at our caption. You can measure mass using mass pieces, which are objects for which you know the weight. On this balance, the piggy bank is on one side and the mass piece is on the other. You must keep adding more mass pieces until the two sides are level or even. The amount of mass in the piggy bank will be the same as the total weight of the mass pieces. What do you think? Look at the objects being compared on this balance. The object is smaller than the beach ball, but it has more mass. Why do you think that is? Measuring size. A ruler is a measuring tool that measures the size of an object. Lines on a ruler show how many inches something is. Metric rulers have lines that show centimeters instead. Some rulers show inches on one side and centimeters on the other. A tape measure is longer than a ruler. It measures shapes, such as your waist, that cannot be measured with a straight-edged ruler. Solid matter has its own shape, and you can measure how tall, wide, or long a solid is. A liquid or gas does not have its own shape. Both change to fit the container they're in. You cannot measure the size of a liquid or gas. Caption, a yardstick is three feet long, and a meter stick is about the same size, but it has centimeter, centimeters sorry, instead of inches. What do you think? Choose three friends or family members and guess the length of everyone's foot from the tip of the big toe to the back of the heel. Now measure all three with a tape measure or ruler. Whose feet are the longest? Whose are the shortest? Did you guess correctly? Show your data on a graph. 
Scientists record data such as measurements using charts and graphs. Charts and graphs help organize information and make it easy for others to understand. For example, the chart below shows the height of a child at different ages. What are graphs? Well, graphs present data using pictures, numbers, bars, lines, or dots. Graphs help people understand data and answer questions. The information recorded in a chart can be used to create a graph. Different types of graphs are used to present different types of data. So this line graph is used to show how something changes over a short or a long period of time. For example, this line graph shows the height of a child over eight years. So this is how Sarah has grown over those eight years. A bar graph is used to show how things compare. This bar graph shows the mass of different objects in the room. So it shows the different mass of these items, and the longer the bar, the more mass it has. Reading a graph. This bar graph shows the temperature of air in different locations. Use the information from the graph to answer the questions. So this is optional. If you want to pause the video, you can absolutely do this. You're answering the questions, where is the temperature the highest? And the locations are listed down below. Where is the best place to go when you are feeling too warm? Find the difference between the highest temperature and the lowest temperature. Okay? So we're going to go ahead now and take a look at what your activity is for today. You have made a copy from your Canvas course of this slide. Now you can choose to leave it here and it will absolutely work, or you can do it as present, okay, and click around this way. If you do it in present, to get back out of present mode, the easiest way is to push, usually it's on your top left hand part of your keyboard, it's a button that says ESC, which means escape, and that will take you back. So there's different tools here, like rulers, and thermometers, and scales, okay? And so, and our graduated cylinders that we talked about in our book. So you're going to click on a tool, and then when you click on that tool, it will take you to a challenge. You just put in your first name, and then once you do, let me show you, okay? Then you choose whether you have a desktop, regular computer, or if you have a touch screen. And then I'm going to click on the half meter stick to bring it in contact with the book, and I'm going to use that to try and measure. And then after I think I have a guess, I'll put in what I think it is, and then I will click the check button to check if I am correct or not. So you're going to play around with the tools for measuring length, for measuring mass, for measuring volume, and also for measuring temperature. So be sure to click around, and it also has here um, a YouTube video for you to watch too. So click around and explore different ways that we measure matter, and I will meet you back here next time. Bye, friends.